近日的一个雨后，七十岁的比利时前驻华大使帕特里克奈斯换上雨靴，准备去看看地里的作物。七年前，奈斯告别外交事业，在妻子邓明艳的老家，有着“世界泥石流自然博物馆”之称的云南东川红土地上，建造农庄，探索永续农业。在新冠肺炎疫情爆发前，奈斯和妻子就回到了这里。他表示。这场疫情让他获得更多时间耕作及思考，也感受到更多中国智慧、力量与温度。So I have been here since、uh, the beginning of January.、Uh, so I was here when、uh, the, the COVID-19 crisis broke out. I was here. I was here with Minyan's family. We 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 were celebrating Chinese New Year here. So、uh, it came to us as a big shock, you know. It was like, my God, what is going on?、Uh, so and then、uh, first, every people from Europe came to us and asked me, "How are you doing? What's going on?" And、uh, I had to tell them that、uh, this was the safest place to be because、uh, the, the, what, what you have to do. Is to、uh, stay in your home and prevent、uh, any contact with、uh, anyone. You know what, what is called confinement. So in this place, it's you are confined by nature. You know. So it was the best place for us to be. So、uh, we have actually witnessed all this crisis from a very safe place here. 随着疫情在全球持续蔓延，他们反倒担心起生活在欧洲的亲友。奈斯和妻子时常与欧洲的亲友分享他们在中国亲历与所见的抗疫经验。对于近期国际舆论场上出现借新冠肺炎疫情渲染向中国追责索赔的声音，奈斯直言，这让他不解与遗憾。This virus they can come from from everywhere, you know. So、uh, I'm very upset with this, you know.、Um, I hope that this crisis will actually bring the people to realize that we are one world, you know, and that we cannot really、uh, fence ourselves out. That we have to deal with this kind of issues globally. I hope that this crisis will actually. Teach the world to deal with this kind of issues all together, and not start, you know, blaming the Chinese or the Europeans. And. 奈斯称，从经历中国疫情爆发初期封城封村的隔离措施，到见证中国付出巨大代价取得疫情防控阶段性成果，再到中国分享战役经验，竭力帮助其他国家抗疫。中国是最了解疫情，也是对疫情防控最负责任的国家之一。